warning, shock hazard do not attempt this experiment, if you are not familiar with electrical circuits and their hazards. If you are familiar with electric circuits, and you insist on doing this experiment at your own risk, then make sure that you are not alone. Have someone standing near the electric plug, ready to unplug it in case of emergency. Never touch the pickle while the wires are connected to it and to the supply voltage. If you do that, your body which acts as a resistance will be connected in parallel and a current will flow through your body causing a shock and electrocution that might be fatal. When working with electric circuits, always use one hand, preferably the right hand, keeping the other hand free, so that the current will not flow across your chest or your heart in case of a problem, but will flow from your hand through your leg to the ground. A pickle conducting electricity is an example of a non-linear or non-ohmic resistance. It conducts electricity due to the water, vinegar or acetic acid and salt or sodium chloride, in which the pickle is dipped. As the electric current passes through the pickle, it heats it up unevenly, due to the non-linear resistance, and as a result some of the water in some part of the pickle becomes hot, and changes to steam. This makes that part of the pickles less conductive, or drier than other parts and as a consequence, a higher electric potential difference, or voltage form across the dry section of the pickle. When the voltage across the less conductive region becomes large enough, the electric field increases, causing a discharge, and an arc, occurs within the pickle, and a cracking noise is heard. The increased electric field, and the arc, may cause excitations of some sodium atoms, in addition to the ionized sodium, that is present in the solution. A neutral sodium atom has 11 protons and 11 electrons. The electron in the outer shell, N equals 3, can be easily excited or ionized. The high current passing through the pickle causes some of the water in it to evaporate. This evaporation process produces high resistance region with low water density or cavities across which charges may accumulate and then discharge causing electrons and ions to accelerate to high speeds within very short time. The accelerated electrons may collide with ionized sodium atoms, causing de-excitation, or they might ionize some sodium atoms that return to the ground state. In both cases the excited atoms get rid of their excess energy by emitting photons. The de-excitation may consist of a sequence of inelastic collisions, during which an excited sodium ion captures an electron, to form inner shell excited sodium states, that are responsible for the observed yellow light transitions. When the electron in the excited, or the ionized atom, goes to a lower energy level, it emits a photon in the form of an electromagnetic wave. Some of those waves are in the visible spectrum, and the most intense one consists of a doublet of yellow light, that can be seen using a diffraction grating, or a spectrometer. The doublet appears when electrons jump from the 3p to the 3s state. This doublet is responsible for the bright yellow color, that is characteristic of sodium that has been excited. The light we get from the pickle has the same color and frequency of the yellow light produced by sodium lamps. The doublet appears because of the dependence of the atomic energy levels on the total angular momentum. The 3p energy level in sodium is split into two states, with two values of total angular momentum, due to the interaction of the magnetic field of the spinning electron with the magnetic field caused by the orbital motion of the electron. This effect is called the spin-orbit effect. If the pickle were dipped in salt solutions, other than sodium chloride for a few days, then it would emit other light frequencies, such as a pinkish color, if potassium chloride is used. 